Good morning, everybody. What's going on? Happy Tuesday to you all. Just jumping on really, really quickly because I just got off the phone with my husband and he was talking to me about this older lady that he um, found in the parking garage where he goes to get his van for work. And he said this was an older lady and she was naked and not clothed and she was looking scared. And it was another driver in the parking lot with him and he was telling the other driver to use the phone to call um to call someone to help the lady or whatever and the man you know he got scared so the man just started up his van and left well what my husband did was he took the older lady he gave her some a, a old coat and stuff that he had in the trunk of our car and he took her to the nearest hospital before he made it to work the purpose of me um telling this story is because with love and kindness have i drawn me you never know what a person is going through so just to kind of like shun them off or not assist them that is not that is not what living for god or living life is about every day is a blessing we don't know how long that older lady was there you know and i like i was just telling my husband um i thank god for him finding her and for him being bold enough to put her in the vehicle take her somewhere warm because it's cold here and it made me think about the story about the good samaritan when the guy, you know, was all injured and beat up and laying on the ground. And, you know, people walked past him, walked over him like he was nothing. And then it was just that one person that stopped and, you know, took him to the end and paid for his room and told him if he needed more stuff, put it, you know, he'll take care of it when he's returned. So we always have to be that beacon of light for someone because you never know what a person is going through. So, just encouraging you all to draw people in with love and kindness. Until next video, men and women of God, be blessed. Keep smiling, keep praising, keep fighting, keep standing.